which is a pasta with a sauce of prosciutto in it. It's delicious. We're going to start with this pasta bocatini. Uh, it's like long macaroni. It has a hole in the middle. It's really fun to eat. Uh, usually you can get them a little longer. It's fun to watch people eat. They have to try to slurp it up, and trying to get it through the, up your mouth with this hole in it doesn't work, but it shows that the pasta is worth it because they will struggle to eat it anyway. So, start with this pasta bocatini. Uh, prosciutto, probably about a quarter pound would work uh, if you're going to feed like four to five people. Um, bay leaves, you're going to need two. Uh, you can purchase these at CVS, about 99 cents. The quality is not as good, but it still gets the job done. Uh, cracked red pepper, about half a teaspoon. Sometimes I like to add a little extra just to give it a bit of a kick. Uh, tomatoes, about a 35 ounce can will work. Uh, you can get these for like 55 cents at Stop and Shop. Uh, yellow onion. Uh, it's probably half an onion would do. The one I had was about this big. I don't really like chopping onions. I don't like onions, but it's delicious. And Parmesan cheese. This will be up to your discretion. Okay, so how I'm going to start is I have the water on boil already for the pasta. So I'm going to start by adding the onions to um, a, a pan I have going with olive oil on it. So I'm about to add the onion to the pan. Um, the water is about to boil. I usually start my pan with the olive oil about the same time I start the boiling water. That way by the time I'm finished preparing and slicing everything, uh, the pasta is ready to go. simmer for a couple of minutes till they're a little bit brown, and then you will add your tomatoes. I'm also going to add my pasta because the water is all right. Now I like to start my pan up high because it, gets, it uh, heats up faster, but once you really have your food on it, you want to turn it down to probably a low setting. That way you won't burn your food. If the onions are browning, pretty soon we'll be able to add the tomatoes. Uh, sometimes a little trick I like to do with my pasta, too, is add a little touch of uh, olive oil to the water. That way it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so while the onions are cooking, I'm going to slice up my prosciutto, and then I'm going to add that to the pan. An easy way to slice it up is to roll it up, like so, uh, and then just cut it into small pieces. It really doesn't matter how big the pieces are, and actually how much prosciutto you put in is really up to your discretion. Um, like I said earlier, a quarter pound is probably enough, so you know, four ounces. Um, but it's really up to you. I love prosciutto. Oh, it's going to be 
hot, and the thing with macaroni is the water is often on the inside, so I always like to squeeze that out a little bit. But I think the best way to test pasta is to taste it and see if it's at the consistency you want it at. So it's good. So now I'm ready to drain the pasta. I also have to tell you, so it looks a little smoky in here. It's because someone cooked over the weekend and left a little stuff in the burner. So, good tip if you're going to cook after a weekend at a college dorm, you probably want to check the burner, make sure nothing's in there because my eyes are watering. So, I'm going to drain the uh, pasta now. I don't have a strainer on me, so this is a good thing because if you have a lid on you, uh, it's easy just to use the lid on the pan to strain the water as well. So, you don't actually have to go out necessarily and buy a strainer, but it does make things easy. So now you're going to take your pasta and just put it in a big bowl, such as this one. And now you're ready <laughs> to add the sauce. Okay, so now that I have my pasta in the bowl, the next step is pouring in the sauce. Also make sure you turn the burner off. Now you have to mix it all up. Now, the thing about this dish that I really like and the reason it's really easy is you can kind of play with how many, uh, the amount of the ingredients. It's not really an exact recipe, but it'll still taste good. For instance, right now I kind of have more pasta than sauce. But it's still delicious and it has enough flavor where it doesn't really matter. But if you want to add more prosciutto, more tomato, more anything, more cracked red pepper, which is my favorite, feel free to do so. This is not an exact recipe, it's just fun. So now, the last touch is your Parmesan cheese. So just pour uh, as much as you want, like I was saying, on top and mix that in. I also like to, when I'm serving this, uh, put cheese out on the table. That way people can add however much they want. Uh, I may have some friends who are lactose intolerant, so cheese is really something that's on the iffy side of things. And there you go. Prosciutto Bocatini flavor to your dish, but they're actually pretty bitter to eat, and no one's going to like that. So, remove the leaves. Also, when you're serving it, you're going to need a big spoon, or to just pour it on. So, uh, this sort of pasta is very easy to uh, manage in terms of scooping it out of the bowl. So, a big spoon. Thank you for joining Dorm Dining, where everything's easy, affordable, and tasty. Be, for, be sure to check out our Facebook. Uh, the recipe will be posted for you to look at. So, okay, so we'll see you next week. Thank you.